Hello friends, today I will show you how to make your own super aluminum air battery from thrash. Uh, this is the structure, what all you are required, you can make a screenshot of this. You require aluminum sheet, then tin sheet which is available in your house, then you need a adhesive, foam adhesive, double sided adhesive tape, which you have to fix like this on the tin sheet. Then you need a black powder which you obtain from dead dry cells. Then the fourth one is you need a face mask. You can cut it and use as filter cloth as a barrier in the battery. Then you need 5 grams of sodium hydroxide you dissolve in sodium, distilled water. That is the electrolyte which you required. This you can take it as a screenshot. It will be helpful for you to do yourself. Then another one is I will show you this one. This is how we are going to assemble tin sheet on above that I am going to place carbon metal oxide powder carefully in, in the middle of that so on the outside there will be border of adhesive foam then above that I am going to place the filter mask then above that aluminum sheet then closely I mean club together and bind with a cloth I mean thread so that it will become a cell construction then you keep in any beaker or any plastic sheet inside it and pour the electrolyte into that immediately you can see voltage 1.5 to 1.65 and current will be around 100 to 185 milliamperes this is actually we are using the carbon powder which is you which is obtained from dry dead cells so you are using you are conserving the energy from the from the nature already used materials you are using so this is a very boon for us for future also this you can take a screenshot of it okay now we will go out to carry out the making of the cell okay now we need aluminum sheet as said in the screenshot then I, I already have kept it tin sheet all this border I have put this double side foam adhesive so that carbon particles will be inside this so this is two main things we required then comes the carbon particles which I opened from the old batteries old battery metal oxide I always used to collect all this metal I never used to throw the dead cells I used to just open it the black powder I collected and put in a container so that this is all useful you are going to conserve the materials already available in the earth so this is a very good battery which you yourself can prepare then you need uh, just mask cut it as filter papers that's all I will just tell how to start this is tin sheet above this I am going to place carefully the carbon particles slowly I have to I have to spread into this in the gap you can do it yourself I don't know this actually I have to remove this tape before I have forgotten now I will remove this this releasing paper this is already in the you know, I have to carefully remove it otherwise it is of no use I will remove it ok this also I am going to remove it Okay, I removed it. The last one, you have to be careful because adhesives are there. That will make you throw the carbon papers outside, carbon particles. So I done the job. So carefully release your hands from that. This is this is now tin sheet. Above that, I have placed the carbon particles which are available already from the dry cells I taken so no extra cost this is so I already made a pre-cut aluminum sheet before that I have to place one carbon this is filter paper I will place carefully over it okay so that the adhesive will adhere with this filter papers it won't allow you to the carbon particles to come out from that so this is now I have prepared I have to carefully Tie them, tie them. See this I have done. Like this, like this, 
and on the yeah this i have to tie it that's all once you tie it the cell is constructed now i'll just show you i'm just tying it you can see it i'm tying it yeah see that it is tied properly you can do it slowly so now i made the cell this is what is required those extra threads you can cut it so this is this cell that's all so thin it is you can see you can even prepare like this three or four cells each cell, cell will give you generate around 1.5 volt so four means six volt will generate so it can be very useful to make your own toy cars in your house so this i'll try to put it in a plastic cover So now I placed it in a plastic cover. So I will try to, I will try to inject this electrolyte into this. Slowly we can, little by little, inject the electrolyte into the inner layer. Those filters are there. It will absorb. Slowly you do it. See that does not overflow. From the cell. So this is what the cell is now ready. If you want, you can check it also. I can put it in a holder. I can put this. The cell is ready. We can check it with a fan. This is a three volt. Yeah. Can you see this? Yeah, three volt fan is there. I'll try to. Connect these terminals with this cell. Can you see this? Yeah, I just put it. It has to take little time more. Once it absorbs, it will give very good current. Now then, see, it is ready. If you want, you can slowly inject more electrolyte from this. The more electrolyte, the more current you get generate. The the bigger the electrode size, the more current also you get. So you have made an aluminium air battery using the carbon particles which are already available from the dead dry cells. So you are conserving the materials already available. So it's a help. You are helping the earth. You are not uh, extracting new metal oxide and using it. Already available. So from the trash, you are just uh, making a crush, make it powder. You are putting it. So aluminium is very cheap. Tin. Tin sheets are already available, so you can whatever used tin sheets, oil cans, milk made cans, all that you can cut. This is tin tin sheet. This is aluminium sheet. You can cut whatever size you want. This this will give you more than ten days of current. You can even regenerate as long as the aluminium is active. You can regenerate by recharging it. See, can you see that? So, 
friends you can make yourself and you can give, pass your comments i am also will help you to show in other video how to increase by serious connection no this like that we can prepare more tin sheets like this make it ready this aluminum sheets you can make it ready so similar pattern you can make small small cells prepare it then in a series you can connect negative positive negative positive we can increase from 3 volt 4.5 6 12 the ampere which is now coming is roughly 165 to 180 milliamperes otherwise the motor will not run like this can you see the sound beautifully it is running okay so thank you whatever comments you feel you can openly pass those comments to me i will be happy you kindly press the like button and encourage me to do more experiments for your goodness thank you